Hello friends, this video on sorting materials into groups part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here comes the concept of sorting. Now how sorting helps? The word sorting means to classify objects into different groups or to classify materials into various groups. So here in this lesson we are going to learn about how we sort materials. Now how is sorting going to help us? So let us look at this example. So let's say that we want a bell to be made. So a bell. The, what is the basic purpose of the bell? So it should produce some sound. Now let's say that uh, we have four options of materials. So one option is wood, the second option is paper, the third option is a metal and the fourth option is glass. So these are the four options which are available to us and out of these which option will you choose to make a bell? Okay. So which one would be the best option do you think? So obviously I am sure you would say metal because the bells which you would have seen around yourself are made up of metals. Now why not wood? Because wood does not produce sound. So even if you strike something with wood you do not get a sound like how you get in case of metals. And the purpose of bell is to produce sound. Again when you talk about paper. Paper neither produces sound nor is it strong enough. I mean for bell when you actually shake it or when you vibrate it, it should be strong enough that it should not get broken or it should not get torn. So the paper is not strong enough. When you talk about glass, the glass is again quite fragile. So if, if you strike it hard with some other object, it will break. But when you try to look at the properties of a metal, you see that metal can produce sound. So metal will be able to produce sound. Metal is hard enough. So it's like hard and strong and tough enough. And it also produces sound and it is definitely not fragile. So that way metal has the properties which are suitable for making a bell. So if we know the properties of a particular material, we will be able to decide whether we can use that material to make a particular object or not. Now when we talk about sorting, we basically divide different materials into different groups based on their properties. For example, we say that the metals are sonorous. Now when we use the term sonorous, that means these are those materials which produce sound when they are struck. Now since metals produce sound, so they are sonorous. Similarly, we uh, categorize or we sort metals into the group of hard objects. Whereas we do not put uh, cotton into the category of hard materials. Right? So that way, depending upon the properties of different materials, we will classify them into different groups and that is called sorting. Now why are we doing sorting? Because it will help us to understand the properties of different materials and that's how it will help us to know which material to be used for making which object. Now the question is why are we sorting materials? So sorting materials is almost like uh, arranging things inside your house. So let's say that in, in your house you have a living room, you have a dining room, you have a kitchen, you have a bathroom, you have a study room, you have a bedroom. So there are different sections inside our house and different sections have different types of objects. So let's say that all these objects are just scattered in your house. So how would you feel? Why do we have these different sections in our house? So that different objects are placed in these different sections that help us to very conveniently find out materials whenever we need them. Let's say you need a knife. Where would you go for? You'll go into the kitchen because normally inside the kitchen you have a knife. Where if you are looking for say a pen, so the pen would normally be in your study room. So you'll directly go into your study room and look for a pen. So when you have all these objects, what do we do? We categorize them or we sort them into different groups and the different groups here are the different rooms. Let's say the mixy. The mixy should be placed in the kitchen. When you look at the carrot, it should also be there in the kitchen. The microwave, again in the kitchen. You talk about a pen that should be in the study room. The books and the notebooks, they should also be in the study room. When you talk about toiletries like soap, that should be in the bathroom. So you see different objects based on their use, 
they have been put into different rooms so that's how you have actually sorted these materials so now if you want uh, toothpaste so where will you go you will directly go into the bathroom right and you have the toothpaste there so that's how the sorting helped here now since you have grouped different objects in different rooms so it helps you it makes things convenient to you in a similar way when we sort materials into different groups based on their properties that also helps us to identify a particular material to identify the characteristic of a particular material let's say i want to build an object like how i took the example of the bell so when i want to choose a material that should be used to make a bell so first we i have to list down what are the properties that i need in that material for example it it should be hard it should be able to produce sound it should not be fragile now looking at these three properties we will start looking at those groups of materials which fulfill these properties and then we can select one of those materials from that group so so the process the entire process of selection becomes very convenient so that is why we talk about sorting materials into groups now this entire process of sorting is based on the properties of materials now what are those properties based on which we will look at different materials some of the important properties are appearance how they look how they appear hardness solubility flotation and transparency so we are going to talk about each of these properties in detail thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.